for Santa Claus? Yeah! Well, before I go, I would like to thank Hands and Shopred of Parsippany for sponsoring uh, tonight's uh, tree lighting. So thank you very much uh, for being part of our community. This is the favorite time, my favorite time of the year. Uh, before we have Santa Claus come, we have a tradition here where my wife will read the night before Christmas. But before I, I say that, I want to say one thing. Um, seven years as mayor, I want to thank you for all the things that you do in Parsippany to make us the fifth best place to live in the United States of America. I'd also like to introduce uh, the council members that are with us tonight. Council President Louis Valori, Council Vice President Robert Peluso, Councilman Michael DePiro, and, and Councilman Paul Carifi. And are you guys ready for the night before Christmas? Yeah. All right, my wife Brenda will, will read it. Good evening. Um, many, many years ago when my kids were probably your size, I used to read this on Christmas Eve to them. And as they grew up, they no longer wanted me to read it. So I'm very happy and fortunate that I have, uh, that we've started this tradition here in town uh, to read it all to you. So, the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar pumps danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster to midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursor they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the house shop, shop the cursors they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in the twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks like roses, like a nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard and his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked and circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me the know-how I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sled, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thank you. Um, before I, uh, well, Santa's not coming yet, so he should be here very soon. But I also want to thank the Pacifity, Troy, the Pacifity Hills High School Choir for being here today and celebrating with us. And, and of course, they do a great job. That's my alma mater. I don't mean it in a bad way, but in a good way. Anyway, also, 
Well, you know what's so wonderful about Christmas? Christmas is like a blanket around the whole entire earth. And during that time, and it's, it's a time when everybody, it's joy, it's love, and it's peace. So that's the wonderful thing about Christmas. But while we wait, we're going to have the choir sing some more songs. So thank you. And I'd also like to thank, excuse me, Rescue and Recovery, all our ambulance who are here today, our volunteers, also the crew, our, our Parks and Forestry Department, our DPW, and the Recreation, Joe Plesher, where are you? Who sets this up every year and works hard around the clock because, uh, you know, he feed, they, him and Santa go out to eat a lot. So <laughs> that being said, God bless you and enjoy. trees and the whole make it nice and festive right Santa absolutely all right okay Santa so come on over you have a bottle and I have a bottle all right I'm gonna give it to the real mayor my wife <laughs> I'm gonna count down from ten ready ten nine